Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to solve this packet tracer activity. Configure static NAT. Before coming to this activity, friends, if you like to get any CCNA online classes or any technical support, you can contact our team using our website. Link you will get from the description below. And if you like to get this type of technical videos in future, consider subscribing and don't forget to enable that bell icon so that you will get notification message whenever we upload a new video. Now back to this activity. Here we can see the objectives. Part 1 test access without NAT. Part 2 configure static NAT. Part 3 test access with the NAT. We will go through the scenario. In IPv4 configured networks. Clients and servers use private addressing. Before packets with private addressing can cross the internet, they need to be translated to public addressing. Servers that are accessed from outside the organization are usually assigned both a public and a private static IP address. In this activity, we will configure static NAT so that outside devices can access an inside server at its public address. Coming to the instructions. Part 1 Test access without NAT. Step 1 Attempt to connect to server 1 using simulation mode. Uh, switch to simulation mode. Then from PC1 or L1, use the web browser to attempt to connect to the server 1 web page at 172.16.16.1. Continue to click the capture forward button. Notice how the packets never leave the internet cloud. The attempts should fail. Coming to our packet tracer, here we can see simulation. We will click on simulation. Then close this simulation panel. Now we will access PC1 or even you can access L1. Then we will go to web browser. And here we will give uh, this address 172.16.16.1. So here we will click capture or forward and we can see it's failed. Even we will uh, try to uh, access this web page using this uh, public IP address 64.100.50.1 from uh, any one of this PC. Uh, I will go to PC1, desktop, then the browser. Here we will give us 64. Dot one hundred dot fifty dot one. Then press go, and we will give a capture or forward. So it's failed, and we are not getting the web page here in PC one. Here we can see it says request timed out. Then exit simulation mode. Okay, we will go to real time. From PC1, ping the R1 serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 interface. Here they given that IP address. We will copy it. The ping should succeed. So we will go to PC1. Then we will go to command prompt. Ping to that interface. And we can see we get the replies. Next, we will go to step 2. View R1 routing table and running config. View the running configuration of R1. Note that there are no commands referring to NAT. An easy way to confirm this is to issue the following command. Show run, then include NAT. So, we will go to R1. Enable. Here we will give that command show run include NAT. And here we can see uh, there are no commands referring to NAT in this router R1. Now verify that the routing table does not contain entries referring to the IP network addresses for PC1 and L1. 
verify that NAT is not being used by R1 using this show command show IP NAT translations. Again, we will go to R1 and we will give this show command show IP NAT translations. And here we cannot see any entries. Next, we will go to part 2 configure static NAT. Step 1 configure static NAT statements. Refer to the topology. Create a static NAT translation to map the server 1 inside address to its outside address. Here they given the command IP NAT inside source static. 172.16.16.1 then a 64.100.50.1 we will configure this static NAT in this router R1 we have to go to a global configuration mode conf t so here we are going to give IP NAT inside source static then we have to specify the IP address 172.16.16.1 so here I will put a question mark and we will see what is uh, next we can specify inside local IP address so here we are going to specify this inside local IP address uh, 172.16.16.1 again space question mark then we have to specify inside global IP address so as they specified we will give a 64.100.50.1 step 2 configure interfaces configure the g0 0 interface as an inside interface we have to go to that specific interface uh, g0 0 and we have to give this command ip nat inside and in this topology we can see that interface g0 slash 0 which is connecting to this uh, switch s1 so coming to r1 we will go to that interface it's a g0 slash 0 and we have to give this command ip nat inside then configure the serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 public interface as an outside interface so here we can see this uh, interface a uh, serial uh, 0 slash 0 slash 0 which is connecting to this internet so we will configure as uh, outside interface again we will go to r1 exit from this interface then go to interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and we have to give ip nat inside sorry it's outside Now we will go to part 3 test access with NAT. Step 1 verify connectivity to the server 1 web page. Open the command prompt on PC1 or L1. Attempt to ping the public address for server 1. Ping should succeed. Then verify that both PC1 and L1 can now access the server 1 web page. We will go to PC1 and uh, we will uh, try to attempt to ping the public address. Uh, address for this uh, server one okay we'll go to pc1 command prompt here i will uh, ping to using a public ip address so we have to give a 64.100.50.1 then press enter we can see we get the replies verify that both pc1 and l1 can now access the server one uh, web page so coming to PC1, we will go to this web browser and here we will give a 64.100.50.1 then press go and we can see we able to access the web page. Same way we will go to laptop web browser and paste that URL. Okay, we able to access the web page. In step 2, view NAT translations. Use the following commands to verify the static NAT configuration on R1. Show running config, show IP NAT translations, then show IP NAT statistics. So coming to R1, we will give end. 
show running config here we can see the net we created then coming to the interfaces g0 slash 0 ip net inside then a serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 ip net outside next we will give a show ip net translations and here we can see the translations protocol used tcp and we can see inside global ip address inside local address then outside local and outside global here we can see this inside local this is the private ip address for our web server this server one then here we can see this inside global address 64.100.50.1 this is what we given here in this ip nat inside source static here what we given 64.150.1 also we will give this a show command show ip nat statistics and here we can see total translations it's for outside interface is serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 then inside interface is a gigabit third 0 slash 0 okay that's all in this activity that is a uh, configuring static NAT now dear friends if you have any doubt any suggestions regarding this packet tracer activity please comment below or you can contact our team using our website link you will get from the description below and if you like our video give a thumb and share with all your friends stay tuned and we will meet again with the next video thank you